Hello everybody, welcome to the final quarter-final of the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice. The winner of this match will take on Andri's Dwarves. And we've got 1550 Dwarves, coached by Exasperation, versus 2.27 million dwarf, uh, Elves, not Dwarves, coached by Gdanik. I nearly did a good intro, but I'm going to roll with this one because it's about the 14th attempt. And in the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello! everybody and here we have a very interesting game the the Enix else one of the I think the last elf team left um one of the two yeah El Eliod is still all right in. oh but Eliod is dark elves yes Eliod's dark elves and all right, all right. an exasperation that be the uh, Artemis black in a quick game <laughs> yes yes um Artemis, and uh, let's not forget that this game is dedicated to our viewers in Seychelles. Oh, Ooh, that's a posh part of the world, the Seychelles, with the national flower, the tro tropic beard orchid, and the national dish is the grilled fish. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's no, there's no uh, replay or uh, you know cabal vision like watching live games function in Blood Bowl Three. This is a restream of Gdanik's channel, so I'll put the link of that in the description. Thank you very much, Gdanik, for letting us restream that. And I think Nick's a big... Nick's a, Nick? Nick? Oh, my God. That's Nick's face. Look, there's Nicky Chan. I think Nick is a big favourite in this match, um, despite it being Elves versus Dwarves, right? Just because he's got 700 more TV. He's got the stats. He's got the skills. Um... That's the waifu figurine that the store was using as a war dancer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was like... And there were so many things wrong. Uh, just, that was just one more. <laughs> it was actually store, the, famous, the famous sniper, and as a proper sniper, he has no morals, no respect for anything or anyone. <laughs> yeah, his, his war dancer broke, so he had to use that. It was pretty great. It's pretty great that he had that as a. I guess a uh, cowl and G gets vindicated. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks like a hero clicks, doesn't it? But it was a it was a three D print. <laughs> All right. So yeah, we're watching this on one and a half speed. We might be able to turn it up or down depending on uh, how things go. But um, one and a half seems a, a decent baseline because like there might be some interesting. Pro elf players here. Um, he's got a couple of guards. He's got only one sneaky git, a dirty player. Um, so Elliot's got the advantage there. Elliot, I think, has three sneaky git dirty players on his dark elf team. That's it. That's a proper dark elf team. Alex Expedition got two bribes. Hmm. Among probably other things because the team value difference was massive. Yeah, he was about 600 TV down. It doesn't look like he's got Morg, which I would have Morg. There's three dice, fish for a power with Mighty Blow plus two. That's really interesting. I wonder what, what else he took. The roller the roller could have been an inducement versus Artemis and could be an inducement for this as well, or he could just have a card roller rostered. We've got no idea of knowing. <laughs> So he has, is that a, a chef? Oh yeah, chef, yeah. But I mean, Nick has five rerolls, so the and, uh, damage of the chef is gonna be <laughs> yeah, not minimal. a good potential. Yes, I mean, if he, even if he takes three rerolls out of uh, Gdenik, it's still two rerolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Nick having a million rerolls, good idea. Looks like there's a um, biased ref or something as well there. But I think... I guess that makes sense, right? A biased ref especially, right? Uh, five plus to get your death roller back is amazing. And uh, obviously bribes to get your death roller back. So interesting not playing the death roller on offense. Even having two bribes. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, if you get your offense to that, like, to be fair, it's, it's not even that good, is it, against elves? That's the problem with the roller. It's just not that good against elves. Your opponent's conceded. You won. Okay. Oh, they messed up the time. Okay, so all of that. 
They messed up the fuck's sake. They messed up the uh, the time things. What time things? Yeah, like the turn times, right? Ah, or oh, oh yes, because it's a friendly uh, uh, game. Uh, but maybe we, you know, exasperation use this to see the setup of uh, <laughs> Nick. <laughs> you know, like Kang in Marvel Snap, see what's going to happen, what's going to be chosen, and then okay. <laughs> mm, I mean, no, Nick I could don't... do it to see the inducements, but no, no, that's obviously not. <laughs> no, no, it would be. I mean, it... <laughs> it's happened. It's happened a few times, like in this in this tournament, that people have just. Um, now this is the second time that people have just. You know, it's easy. It's easy to to not do right. The inducements are the same. <laughs> As they should be. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, one and a half, one and a half um, speed seems right. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it replace in Blood Bowl Two is like the equivalent to be you know double speed. Hmm. Yeah, that's so the thing. It's right. weird, isn't it? It's weird because, like, obviously the animations will be a little bit too fast, but then they're not particularly fast animations anyway, so it should be all right. Maybe even double speed is okay, but I thought, you know, there might be more interesting gameplay with it being dwarves. Uh, sorry, you so. can change the speed any any time. Yeah, mm. yeah well, let's start on two. <laughs> let's start on two. That's a good point. I can always put it down. So, yeah, pretty standard dwarves, right? Loads of block, mighty blow, stand firm. Guard. I don't know block. I meant to say guard. Loads of guard. Oh, quick. Might go stand firm. Quick snap. He can mm. move six players. So. Oh, and he is Obviously. fielding the roller in the end. Wait, does the roller have guard? Um, no. So maybe he induced the, the roller. Yeah, the other one did, didn't it? Yes, the one was maybe there was also a mistake with the old double scanners. Ah, yeah, so maybe he overspent with inducements or whatever and happened. Ah, the, yeah, something uh, happened there also too. Yeah, could be that. Yeah, it could be that. Well, is it not Nick in the chat? It was before, you know, VIP. I'm subscriber. Uh, <laughs> the Nick. He was, yeah. Hello, Dio. Um, it's it's it's. It's okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay, like it's it's like a chalice, right? They're the best coaches with the best teams, and uh, the casting it has been a bit of a challenge with the, you know, the not being the cabal vision and stuff. But um, it, I like this double speed idea. <laughs> the doubles forced on us by having a dwarf mirror to watch, uh, but might just do them all in double speed in future. Can still just pause on like interesting turns. Super interesting turns. That's the strength for a uh, piece from a. Uh, Nick. Yeah, it's not. It's not easy. And when I say not easy, impossible to see who's got stat ups. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in this case we have to just look quickly to the screen uh, the cards when they block or get blocked. Yeah, because obviously, if we if we had cabal vision, we could mouse over ourselves and know. But there's absolutely no way, so we've just got to wait until until the players activate them, and then hopefully they're showing the card of the player that's activated, <laughs> and we can put two and two together. So yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world. This is a pretty nice dwarf team, isn't it? Loads of is, uh, loads of decent. Mm. Very uh, TV efficient, yeah, as uh, yeah. dwarves tends to be. Yeah, no, no defensive or dodge or or anything. Just, just the big three skills over and over again. <laughs> really nice. But will it be enough to get the job done versus super elves? That's the question. And Nick has loads of random skills, obviously loads of dodge, a couple of guarders, um, a bunch of sidestep, and then he took he took a lot of randoms at the end. So there's a there's a lot of you know like the frenzy was a random, and uh, I think there's safe pair Ooh. of hands and stuff. Armor reg, reroll, 
Okay, the for the dodge. Mm. Sorted. So it looks like Nick lost one reroll to the chef. No, he just used one, so he lost nil. No, he, oh, he started on five, right? Yeah, he started on five. Mm. Oh, he got many guys left now. Three, okay, 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 okay. But even if he'd lost three, it would have still been not that bad. <laughs> it's a pretty ridiculous day. And I think uh, Elliot has six re-rolls. <laughs> Which... I mean, <laughs> if you are going, go big. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have hated Nick going to six, honestly. It's only 50 TV, isn't it? Yeah. And we've all and, the time uh... the whole half now. And the fact that you're going to face a lot of uh, Dwarfs teams, you know, having tons of rerolls, more or less nullify the tackle risks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the Wizard nowadays is not as good as it used to be, so it's less a danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'd have thought that you would uh, have to beat Artemis to win the tournament, but... <laughs> <laughs> Exasperation solved that problem for Nick by... Uh... Half beating Artemis. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, you know, absolutely masterful uh, play by Exasperation. Hmm. A, 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 a small piece of adversity and Artemis noped out. <laughs> Some guard would be really be helpful for the dwarves now. Because, um, you know, the, the elves are being able to hit back, use their own guards to uh, actually get some things going here. But Stan Firm is going to be really punishing for Gdanik. Yes. Nick was completely bamboozled by Frenzy there. He thought, he thought, he thought that there'd been a, a glitch, I think. <laughs> yes, I think, yeah, the, 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 I think I watched. Uh, this part of the land, he was like, wait, this is not supposed to be uh, something else? <laughs> and Nick's not fielding the air uh, sneaky get. Interesting. Wanted players that could do stuff and, I guess, sacrificial fodder. Oh, there's the, uh, also there's the biased ref, right? So every time he fouls, he gets sent off in a 5+. plus. So I'm pretty sure there's a biased ref in play. Like I don't know what the actual, uh, I don't know what the actual thing is, but there's a whistle icon, so I assume that the whistle icon is the, uh, is the biased ref. So yeah, that makes the sneaky git, and that's going to be interesting um, if, and this is a big if because it's by no means assured, but Elliot and Gadenik are on opposite sides of the draw, so if, um, you know, they both get through to the semi-finals and win their semi-finals matches, it's a potential Elliot Gadenik final. And if that was to happen, then the fact that Nick has the lower TV means that he could get the biased ref, which would be actually pretty good versus a team with three sneaky get dirty players. <laughs> yeah, that's true, yeah. But still, he needs to be the opponent here. Yep. And this isn't going to be easy. Like, you know, any elf team, no matter how big... And, and like, you know, full of skills they are. Any elf team can lose to any dwarf team. We've seen it happen See, so uh, many times in the Nick, uh, chances here is just stop the score, you know. I don't think he's going to have any chance to be able to, you know, uh, hit the ball. No, well, but then, you know, you never know, right? If you, if you can block, if you can get in front of them, slow them down. Yeah, that's it. Then, uh, then they've got to expose the ball to have a chance to score, and then you can counter score. Like there's, there's a chance. These are pro elves, yes. The high elves are not included in the blue ball three uh, list of teams. Yep. Roll the dwarf's mirror, yeah, more or less. Wow, this is uh, very rowdy. Well, there you go, Fami. You were, you were saying about not getting a hit on the ball. But <laughs> uh, okay. Ah, uh. uh, we've got a roller foul. He gets sent off, but the bribe works. 
I mean, I guess I guess the roller the roller shows all that up actually. Until the roller came in, it looked like something could happen, but yeah, I well, know, I know. The roller makes it, and obviously there's so much stand firm that there's no there's no interesting chain possibilities. Well, there is one actually, right? Did uh, he one D there, and then he could blitz round the back and push him into there. But then, but then all of these have got stand firm, haven't they? So no, there's no, there's like absolutely nothing because of all the stand firm. <laughs> now he's rolled one every turn so far, Nick, hasn't he? Nearly. That explains the favorite rolls. Mm. More rolls, more fails. Yeah, which I think he he's going to train a. No sir. Chaining. He's, he's got a frenzy. Where's his frenzy? Can't see as yeah. There's no chains because of the uh, like everyone's got stand firm. Yeah, everybody has it. <laughs> so much stand firm. Oh, his frenzy got KO'd. Diced. Yeah, this is actually all right in double speed, isn't it? Like the animations aren't completely bonkers. They're a bit fast. Everything's a bit fast, but. Not uncomfortably, stupidly fast. <laughs> well, now there is a cage corner without stand firm, so that's somewhat interesting. Where's the roller gonna go? Is he gonna foul? Of course he's gonna go. Gets a KO, gets sent off. Fails oh, his bribe and gets sent off. Fails the bribe off. and that's a big one. Oof. And now uh, things can happen. Mm. Yeah, Nick will have a little pep in his step after that. Got to go hard this turn, right, to force the score, so he gets a chance to two-turn. So uh, we might see a lot of basing. This is a friendly match, as there's, there's tournaments don't work in Blood Bowl 3. So it's that means it's res. So, you know, obviously he wants his players alive to win the match. But he'll have, you know, he'll, he'll be more happier than normal to take more contact and take more hits to get the to get the win done. Yeah, not the... Gets the wrestle. Gets the ball loose. I think you dodge in and try and pick it up here. I think you have to. In fact, they just declare the pick up. Yeah. And his legs uh, an armor break. Yeah. And that's a five reroll team with uh, only one uh, reroll left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have had six. <laughs> or even seven. I think maybe they were just earlier rerolls that Nick didn't need to reroll. Honestly, I think he, obviously it's hard to practice reroll management when you've got so many. But I think maybe some of the earliers he could have eaten because you know he, he can he can use rerolls for the one turn, can't he? Uh, oh, though he has. He, does he have Juggernaut? No, he doesn't have Juggernaut. So there's no one turn. <laughs> Not unless his opponent sets up terribly for the one turn, like like last game. <laughs> I'm strong as fuck. So yeah, Nick maybe should have re-rolled that that one on the other turn. Previous turn, because having a re-roll for the one turn doesn't matter when you haven't got a one turn. <laughs> I think he's literally That's gonna be three in the stand farms in the line. Yep, and then no. I guess there's a chance of a riot, right? There is a chance of a riot. Yes. Oh, oh, Hello, timer. Steve Motti. Hello, Steve. A, a subscri subscriber, Steve Motti. An subscriber. actual real person. Also met in real life. We can confirm he's a real human. Yes, yes. I remember. VIP of my channel, too. You know, oh, so yeah. Steve Motti. Uh, royalty of the Twitch community. Yeah. 
Yes, Mordred, yes. Big L's should always have a stand firm. Uh, that is a big weakness of Nick's team. Uh, sorry, a juggernaut. It is a big weakness of Nick's team not having a juggernaut. Um, only need juggernaut, right? Don't need frenzy. Just need juggernaut. Um, and movement nine, sprint show feet. So, it's a big, big miss. Oh, he got the quick snap. Oh, my God. Nick is the luckiest looker dog in the world. And the, and the touchback. Oh my god. Wait, shouldn't he blitz? No. <laughs> what Klieg, a scumbag. Klieg Elf, Klieg and Son. What an absolute scumbag Nick the is. Absolute dice lord, absolutely uh, <laughs> terribly amazing. Now I understand why why he's not here, you know, while, uh, while casting his game, because the shame <laughs> will be too much. Wow, touchback and a quick snap. What a, Nick is the absolute prime reality warper of Blood Bowl, isn't he? <laughs> That's outrageous. Nobody should be as lucky as Gadir Nick. And that's why, you know, since he escaped uh, Rick's basement, <laughs> Rick has stopped playing uh, Blood Bowl because he doesn't have the energy from uh, Gadir Nick. Oh, good point, yeah. Yeah, very good point. I didn't consider that, but you're thinking about it. You're completely correct, Fami. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's like uh, it's not like uh, uh, Rick has uh, grow tired of Blood Bowl three or something like that. It's because he can die the way he used. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. It's so stupid that he just says an opposition player, and you've got no idea if it's yours or theirs or what. It's so dumb. It's literally so dumb. So we've got a Daka here from Nick. Glorious. And the chef has taken two rerolls, so he's starting with three. But uh, having the Daka option, the rerolls, you know, is not going to be a problem because he will start playing <laughs> in three, four turns. Yep. Yeah, obviously three is like a totally fine amount. Three is how you'd how many you'd have normally in a in Blood Bowl two, so it's a completely healthy amount of rerolls. Nick looking very confident now in in his face cam that you can't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, raising his arms barely. <laughs> yeah, his arms nearly reaching his head, fully outstretched, nearly reaching his head. <laughs> I think he pulled a muscle there. <laughs> oh dear. And this uh, double speed with Raka is really good because it's a lot of time. Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. absolutely nothing happening. Glorious. Glorious Daka. got the dwarves with the columns interesting to see like a, uh, a concerted defense against this he's going for the blitz I don't like this from Nick do not like this is too early right I would have had another turn of doing nothing I'd have had another turn of doing nothing here from but never mind I guess this gives him a bit of space in behind if something goes wrong and then he can start a breakthrough turn 12, but yeah, maybe this is okay, actually. I think I would have started a breakthrough. I think I would have done this. I think I would have waited one more turn, but I guess the fact it's res helps a bit with that, right? It doesn't matter if you take a bit more damage. And yeah, now he's up to start the breakthrough on turn 12. Which is all right. We'll see. He's got to go in pretty hard. I think blitzing the uh, blitzing the troll the is the best, right? He's armor eight. Armor eight, the weakest spot. Oh, everybody else has a stand firm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now he can just jam in pretty hard and just brute force through. Next turn. Mm. 
No, he's not going to. He's just going to. Oh, go for the sneaky git foul. Okay, that's that's interesting. So see, with with him not going that turn, that makes me think that I was correct in that. You know, yeah, you know they're doing anything there, previous time, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to stun there. Is this baiting by Gdani, trying to bait the dwarves to, you know, base a lot of his uh, players? Yes, exactly, yeah. Yeah, I think that's exactly what he's attempting. Dwarves are going to stay strong. Surely now Nick is going oh, to Oh, and there is the the problem there. The troll slayer doesn't have tackle. Mm. So, yeah, now with that knockdown, Nick will probably try a, uh, a speculative 3 3 2 to get somebody through. Basing across, that's interesting. I would have, I would have piled in. I would have like these two. I would have just piled in, right, rather than pile out. <laughs> and then, yeah, I like the speculative three-three-two here. Yeah, here we go. The random, my God, the random camera moves piss me off so much, honestly. <laughs> well, it's why uh, you should uh, see Sakara in his uh, streams. He goes absolutely nuclear about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, it, it doesn't even matter that much watching, but playing, it's so infuriating, my God. Well, I mean, this is interesting, but yeah, I, I, I didn't like, I, didn't, I really didn't like the tagging off these guys here. Especially this one on the end, like, he goes five across, what does he do? This guy could have, like, jammed in here or something. To help. The mistake of the exasperation was he blitzes with the Troller Slayer. Hmm. Yeah. So the other piece uh, has to be, you know, at the front. Yes. Yeah. If it was the other way around, he could have moved back the the tackler and will have been uh, still have uh, protected by tackle. Yep. But he's doing some banging here. There is some banging. So Nick can put in the guard and break through, but he will need pals. He has a strength uh, for peace. No, oh, yeah, he's got a strength for somewhere. Yeah, he might have been stunned because I, I think there was a, a dauntless roll from the troll slayer. So I think the strength four is the one who's stunned. Gets the pal and gets the two plus past the troll slayer. This and somewhere, one. somewhere, PC is feeling it like a new troll slayer. So we're weak. <laughs> <laughs> Gets the big one through. Still kind of needs the others, but yeah, the, the troll yeah, slayer that's being it. a big that's weak it. That's uh, that tiny, tiny, you know, uh, decision of you know blitzing with the troll slayer or that change if you know. That chance. Uh... I think Nick has to reroll the three here. Doesn't have to reroll it. Wow. Looking pretty strong for Goody Nick. It's almost GG. Don't say it's over, but it's pretty over. Yeah, I think one forward is better. Oh, one across. Yeah, okay, one across. One across is easy. One across better. covers the mod. Yeah, I think at the turn when the the elves were just one score away from the dwarves, maybe oh, the dwarves should have... Don't do that. Oh, that's terrible, Nick. That's terrible. What are you playing at? 
That's like the worst square. Oh, I hate that from there. Okay, why is the worst uh, square? I mean, I know it, but uh, well, well, some of yeah. more worse. Worse than the others. It's like obviously not the worst. The worst square would be over here or something, but like this is just a four plus to hit the ball now, whereas all the others he was setting up like four, three, four, four, three or something to get through. But now yeah. just leaving one roll to hit the ball is 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 too easy. It just weird. It's, it's, it's it's now it's only anything. one Dutch roll. No, I was saying maybe you know the time when the dwarves were one square away and uh, then it was baiting him, you know, to base. Maybe the dwarves should have moved back. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a, a couple of squares or something like that, you know, yeah. to not be so uh, committed to the distance because after all they can only move uh, four squares. But if they move back two and there are three squares, link players move six, seven, and eight. Yeah. So making a break will be much more difficult. Yeah, that would have been a pretty good, pretty good idea. I think. I think you're correct there. Correct. And he didn't. Oh, so he did go for the four plus dodge in the end, but just and not, got uh, it. <laughs> not to hit the ball. Got there. Got there. You know. Now. Uh... Yeah, this is pretty collapsed in on on gold goody Nick here. I mean, right now the ball is. Uh... Two plus to get free. Yeah, but then what? He's gonna have to. Then, then what? Yeah, then what? Then what? He's gonna have to one d that. Uh, gonna have to dodge one d that dwarf. Yeah, or two d him that. Two d him backwards, but then you've got a pal. And then he does after the roll. But he's blocked his path anyway. Uh, yeah, this is a bit shit from me. He's going for the three. Uh... Three three two. Yeah, he has to go for three two. Yeah. Well, three two. If he moves, uh... just jump out. Jump out still a three. Well, no, the jump out would be a four. Oh, okay, yeah, could two plus out and then two plus jump. Yeah, that was the play. So the play actually was there. That uh, was a good jump. point. That was a good point there from Uruk Bai. So if he jumps from where he is, it'd be a four plus because he's in two tackle zones. But he could have dodged back on a two plus, then jumped over on a two plus. So yeah, that was Nick not being familiar enough with Blood Bowl Twenty Twenty rules. Yep. That's it. That's uh, the nice uh, comment by the Uruguay uh, subscriber of the channel. Obviously, <laughs> you know, saying uh, wise comments, not like that the uh, ducky guy, you know, talking about passing or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Ducky who? <laughs> Just uh, the classic has been, you know, used to play Blood Bowl like 20 years ago or something like that. <laughs> yeah, that was that would have been really good. Yeah, two plus out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the play for sure. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, that's super interesting, really. Because we saw we saw uh, Elliot do like a four plus leap, a couple of four plus leaps in his first game to get a ball sack. Um, but I mean that was perfect, just making it like the fact he could made it a two plus leap, incredible. I'm pretty sure the leap, leap would be a two plus, right? I'm pretty sure it's a leap two plus. Is that correct? If there's no tackle zones, is it a two plus? No, I just don't know the rules, lad. <laughs> That's the thing, yeah, I was thinking... Uh, I was thinking was, worst yeah. case scenario is going to be a 3+. plus. Yeah, yeah, but then but then you just dodge, right? So, yeah, so yeah, so it, he could have made it a 2-2 two -two instead of a 3. He could have made it a 2-2 two -two instead of a 3-2. So, yeah. Wow. So the dwarves just protected the ball. That's interesting, isn't it? I would, I would have thought that the dwarves could have maybe tried to have got in scoring range, um, but they are relegated to just playing for overtime. But still, nice, nice for the dwarves to stop that. It looked like Nick was gone, but yes, uh, it looked like uh, Nick was gone, but they good, manage. Good play by exasperation, right? Good play by exasperation yeah. to get in the way and uh, and yeah. you know stop and, that. Uh, Yes, and also then he Nick's fault for not knowing even the rules of the game he's playing. That's true, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Terrible player from Nick, should be ashamed of himself. <laughs> not knowing the rules, playing with helps. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Wishes he was as good as a rook by. <laughs> and uh, now, he, now the doors have got the ball. So flip me. Got to take the ball off eleven dwarves. Or oh, because I mean, I guess he can stop them for a fifty-fifty to win the game. Lucky for Nick, there's no. Uh, oh my God, there's a Kaz. Lucky for Nick, there's no. Uh, oh my Golden God. Golden goal. Oh well. Lesionado. <laughs> And another one! <laughs> three out of three! Lesionado, lesionado, lesionado! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Well, that was an alright LOS, wasn't it? <laughs> very good, very good. Optimal, optimal. Yeah. Can't be that. Yeah, I was going to say, really looking for, for Nick, right? That there's no uh, Kekwadi anymore, right? With a three reroll advantage. Exasperation now, 11 versus 8, he could just he could just stay where he is. <laughs> he could just he could just have a nine man cage and say let's go. <laughs> but as it is, he's got to uh he's got to try and score. And Nick's going straight in to be fair. No messing around. No messing around, all eggs in the same basket, the here we go. Mm. There is no plan B anymore. Yeah. <laughs> because he's gonna run out of players. <laughs> yeah, that that's the thing, right? Like, looks pretty crazy that he's going all in so quickly, but yeah, that's the thing. He's got he's got eight versus eleven and he's put five players behind the ball here. Um so that's a big risk now, right? If uh, if the dwarves can clear this, they can be pretty much gone. I mean, not pretty much, because obviously they're movement four, and he's movement seven and eight. But it feels like that, you know. <laughs> Still, he's giving the dwarves a lot of space. Yeah, if they can just clear, if they can just clear, they can they can move all the way down here, and then they've got another turn to to reorganize. We just go for the dodge. It's a two plus. He's got a two plus carrier. He might be movement eight. Who knows? Can't see his stat sheet. But there was no diamond tackle or anything from Kadenik. No shadowing. So yeah, it was an easy just two plus dodge off. Didn't even have to clear anything. That plan's a lot worse without any shadowing or diamond tackle or anything. Frenzy trap. Gets away with it. Save the day. That troll slayer hasn't been very useful, I have to say. Yeah. I think I think what? this blitzer might have diamond tackle. Oh no, maybe the blitzers do have diamond tackle. So it was a, it said two plus, and then he just must have rolled a four plus, right? Yeah. Maybe he does have diamond tackle. Well, he probably should have tried to. Uh... Is this the is this logo diamond tackle? Maybe. <laughs> diamond tackle's better in in Blood Bowl three because nobody knows what the icon is. <laughs> <laughs> the problem with the shadowing <laughs> is that there is a bug on shadowing. If you score with a player that is being followed, you score two touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe, you know, if you score with uh, someone that is shadowed and diving tackle, you know, you <laughs> score three touchdowns, you know, triple Maybe. touchdown. Maybe. So yeah, so Nick is left with three players out of the game now, basically, for well, for, for this turn, obviously. Easier for him to get them back in the play than it is for the Dwarves to get their three players back in the game. But, big blitz. Should probably foul this guy as well. Pretty annoying with a diamond tackle. Yeah, I'm sure that's diamond tackle. I'm sure Nick's taken diamond tackle and Elliot hasn't. So that rookie I would have foul with. I would have got out of three assist foul that guy. Because he's pretty annoying. Oh, that's a nice little tag. Oh, there you go. Uh, taking advantage of the... The fact that the dwarves uh, separated the, the team a little too much. Mm. But the 
ball isn't Absolutely. there, so it can just move. And now he's based. <laughs> Probably should have moved. Probably should have moved the ball before you hit the sidestep dining tackle guy. Just a pro tip there. Just quietly. Yep. He's thinking I will roll here. The size is not too. Ah, Nick takes the coward the side step. Yeah. No, uh, no Thomas T step there. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, is Thomas T playing Blue Ball 3? No idea. I don't think so. I haven't checked either. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I mean, who knows? Who knows who's playing? Like, it's. You can't watch any matches unless people are streaming, so. Cruz is apparently top of the ladder. Who who would have believed that? <laughs> Game. Mm. It would be nice to hear the Cruz opinions about Blue Ball 3, but he doesn't stream anymore, so... Mm. Yes, a bit sad. He's certainly been playing a lot. Wow. Played a lot of games. That doesn't mean he's been playing playing Blood Bowl a lot. <laughs> seeing That's as, true. Seeing as you can play about ten games in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, but with the Crucifer all scheduled, he will be able to play a thousand games per season. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. he was playing more or less every day, five six hours. Yep. Oh, huge. Well, not removal, but huge knock, like huge stun even. But he can't score early, that's the thing, right? He can't score early. It's not goal and goal, it's a full half. So, you know, at least Nick knows he's going to have another chance to pop the ball. He's got to... And and he's, he's probably just got to, like, you know, hold off until the last turn and then try to go to kicks. I would do that if it was exasperation. Mm. You know, trying to at least achieve that the worst case scenario is kicks. Yeah. It's uh, interesting because obviously Artemis would have already conceded if he was Nick, but. Uh... <laughs> A long time ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but Nick is battling away, hanging in there, scrapping, doing everything he can to give himself a chance to win. Also, rolling quite good dodges. I, I can't remember. Also, he can get. <laughs> He can get another quick snap uh, touchback, you know, for another one turner. He could, yes, yeah. <laughs> Thomas T stepped there because, of course, he was he was uh, knocked down. So it makes sense to threaten people with a prone elf is kind of better, right? Like, it, you know, if if you're still standing, you'll just get knocked over. Whereas prone always always sidestep into danger when prone <laughs> big knockdown gets uh gets the other okay, wolf in. i guess this one also he's put both in the ball he could have just put one on the ball and one in here to 2d but just rolls a 1d pal and into a cas <laughs> <Bless you now. laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> so it's gonna be exasperation, the the new uh, giant killer, you know, destroying Artemis Black and beating uh, Gdeinik, you know, two of the top teams uh, in the competition. Mm. Oh, gets a removal there, eh, Nick. Oh, Apple comes out, of course, because it's Res. Right, if this wasn't Res, you wouldn't Apple that, but with it being Res. A one D on the ball. In the ball. Oh man! And the ball goes. Oh, ah! oh my oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god, Nick! You look a dog. You look a dog, Nick. <laughs> Bless. Bless by the warp. <laughs> oh man, man. That was painful to watch. <laughs> I wonder if it would have been better to have uh, picked up, handed off to the lineman and have the lineman just punt it. That might have been better. 
But wow, what a look at dog. What a look now, at dog. Now, after this, uh, Nick has two times. Enough to score. Is there still a uh, uh, helps uh, on their feet? Yeah. Oh, so I, I think the play was to chain this guy into hitting him. He could have. He could have chained this long beard to here, and then this long beard could have punched the sneaky kit, and then you can hit the ball. I think that was the play. As it is, I mean this 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 pathetic screen is enough, isn't it? <laughs> I From think. Uh, yeah. Nick is not going to be able to have enough, uh, you know, movement to score anymore. No, true. Yeah, that's that's. I don't see how he's going to score here. <laughs> uh, this is a blitzer, isn't it? No, it's an alignment. So this is a catcher. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, this one. He's got the movement nine guy. He's got the movement nine guy. All right. Oh, there we go. The bigger problem is what the hell is he doing with the ball, surrounded as he is by all these people. Well, if he has a, he's a catcher, he has a nurse of steel. Hmm. Oh, the frenzy! The frenzy makes it two and a one and gives him the two plus out. Glorious. Pass. Where do we go? Flip me. The passing nerf coming into play. He's only Clean got four plus P here. From there was a six. He's uh, thinking mm -hmm. about making the pass, you know, a little easier to. Uh... No, he's just not passing. He just, he did it. Looked at the odds and thought, "Fuck that." <laughs> if this all oh, that work that could be massive, now he can make that only one dwarf uh, can reach. Yeah. Safely. Yeah. Yep, that's pretty good, isn't it? Hey, no, this. Oh, yeah, this guy is. This guy and his diamond tackle. So, yep, only a one D on the ball. Without without tackle as well, because it's a blitzer. And he can't hit the he can't hit the move nine guy either. What what a disaster for uh, exasperation. He must feel in a little exasperated. <laughs> he must be. But there was a solution to hit the ball last turn and he, he didn't see yes. it with the chains. So. He didn't see the show now. Done over now. This is it. Hand off. Wow. To a catcher. One in 36. That's it. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh my God. Oh my God. Good day, Nick. The luckiest man in Blood Bowl. The team name is, look, is Biggest Brain. I think it should probably be Luckiest Dog. <laughs> the Enig using the classic, the classic, uh, just existing uh, strategy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he really did with a one turn, didn't he? Quick snap and touch back. That was unbelievably lucky. Like, unbelievably lucky versus three stand firm. There's no denying that was outrageous. That <laughs> <laughs> was disgusting. Yeah, but it, you know it was an it was a nice it was a good play to get the ball sack and that in in the uh, in the overtime and then you know a little bit of a mistake by his aspiration like he he could have chained his uh, his his long beard forward in to, to get the hit to get the two D on the ball um, but yeah great play by Nick but also great luck by Nick <laughs> so uh, yeah well, con congratulations to Gudea Nick commiserations to exasperation and thank you very much Fime for the core commentary absolutely glorious having you as here. always a pleasure to be here and I hope our viewers in Seychelles uh, enjoy the quality of this game and being Seychelles a very posh place for holidays if that lady from Monte Carlo still hasn't contacted me uh, is there you know this is a friendly reminder I'm still here <laughs> glorious <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic